Well, see, when, when people started thinking about adaptation about 20 years ago as a policy field, it was very much seen as something that had to do with what countries do to themselves in their own interests. If a country is affected by climate change, then that country would need to adapt to the impacts of climate change. If it was a developing country, they would want to count on support from, from, from the rich countries in terms of funding or technology support or capacity building. If it was a rich country, then you know, adaptation was basically their own responsibility. Now, the world is, is much more complex than just a set of individual countries that look after themselves. Um, climate change happens all over the world and impacts of climate change in one part of the world can have an effect on people on the other side of the world through trade, through financial investments, uh, through uh, river basins, uh, through flows of people. That makes the way in which people and countries are affected by climate change much more complex and it also makes adaptation more complex. Um, it, it doesn't, it's not going to be enough for a country like Sweden or, or a country in Africa or any country really to just look at what's happening within your country. It really is important to look at what's happening around the world and how is that going to address uh, how is that going to affect uh, the risk that, that the people in your country or the companies in your country, the nature in your country are going to face? Um, there is no governance system for that. The, the United Nations, under its uh, Climate Change Convention, uh, talks about climate change very much as a national responsibility. Countries are invited to develop national adaptation plans and the guidance for those national plans doesn't talk about these international or global risks of climate change.